point or a point is nothing but a dot most fundamental concept in geometry is that of a point now what does this point mean to you but before we try to explore the meaning of a point let us try to understand and see where in real life do we find the examples of a point so the examples of point would be the first one is the sharp tip of a pencil if you just sharpen your pencil very well and you have a look at the tip then the sharp tip of a pencil is the first example of the concept of point then another more common example is the tip of a needle that is also another concept of a point and if you have ever used a compass so we also have the tip of a compass that is also the concept of a point so these are the examples you can identify several such examples for example if you have a look in the sky the sky is huge and then you will see the small stars very small stars which you can just see as dots in the sky so this gives you the concept of a point similarly just try to identify what are the other areas in life where you can identify the concept of this point so now what does this point imply so this point implies a location it's very important to understand that a point implies a location okay very very basic and very very important to understand it simply implies a location now if i have a look at this point what location it is implying it is simply implying the a location in this whole space of paper right it is simply implying a point similarly all these points here which we earlier used to represent the stars in a the sky they are implying different locations so point implies a location in we can say a space or it simply implies a location that is one of the key things that we need to keep in mind now how do we represent point that is very obvious that we represent point using a dot and the sharper the better but you should make the point in such a way that it is at least visible a bit okay now this is one point let's say i made another point then there is third point fourth point and fifth point now how do i distinguish all these points well vi visibly i understand that all these points are in different locations but still there is no way how i can differentiate between all these points so what do we do is we associate a letter of the alphabet with each of the points so for example i can say that this is my point a and this is a point b i can name this as a point b i can name this as x i can name this as z so when we have multiple points we use the letters of the alphabet to differentiate between different points so this was the concept of a point now let us build upon this concept and understand the next concept so now we are going to discuss about a line segment now in order to introduce you the concept of line segment let me do one thing i make a point let me say a point a here and then i make another point that is b now i would like to find out how many paths are possible between these two points that is point a and point b so let me use a different color for clarity so how many paths are possible okay 
I have not set that straight path so I can have a path here like this then I could have another path which goes on like this then I could have a curly path going on like this and then I could have another path which goes on like this and I could have another path also which goes on like this through the point so the thing is I could keep on drawing the number of paths between these two points which means the number of paths between two points A and B are just huge they cannot be defined there can be just infinite number of points but now let me ask you a more specific question what is the shortest path between A and B what is the shortest path so for that you have to make sure that there is just one straight line between the point A and B what I should do is I will change the color and we'll make the line a bit thicker okay so let me draw this with this red color so as you can see this is also not clear let's try to yes this 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 point here from A to B or let me just write it write these points here this is let's 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 write these points again here so we have A and we have this point as B and if I want to draw a straight line between these two points there is there, there just has to be a straight line between these two points that's it so can you draw any more straight lines between these two points just try doing it you will not be able to do that so there is it's just possible for us to draw only a single line between single straight line between two points and that will be the shortest distance between these two points so this type of this type of scenario right this this the small line here which starts from the point a and it ends to the point b is called as a line segment this is an example of a line segment so a line segment has two endpoints in this case we have a and b right a line segment has two endpoints and what are the uh, examples of a line segment so the examples of line segment is nothing but the let us first write the examples yeah so the examples will be the edge of a box if you just see the edge of a box for example we have a box like this of course it's not straight but I hope you get the idea so we have a box like this and if you see this any take up any edge let's say we are taking this edge so I can put a point A here and I can put a point B here so this forms a line segment what could be other one second could the second example could be one side of a ruler one side of a ruler you know that a ruler has four sides again it's not straight here so you could just take any side this one this one among its four sides right so each of these becomes a line segment so what are the key things that you we should remember about line segment first a line segment has two endpoints okay and it 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 uh, yeah it has two endpoints and uh, we represent line segment using letters a b followed with a bar so if i want to say this mathematically represent this we say that this is a line segment a b with this note this this is how so you can have another line segments similarly and you can just write it accordingly and you can also think of this line segment as being formed of very very small points dotted together very small points nearby to each other so a line segment will also have finite points this is also one important thing to keep in mind a line segment will have finite number of points Right? It has a start point and it has an end point. So that was our discussion in this session. See you in the next session.